All right, today I'm gonna unbox this parcel that just arrived, which are the showcase just a little bit on my G-Shock watch collection video. And here it is. Let's open it up. This is oh, sorry, I just hit the <laughs> tripod. Anyway, guys, this is from Buy Japan, which is the main sponsor for this video, for this channel. Mostly, I don't have any sponsors other for my Patreon supporters. All three of you, thank you very much for your supports financially actually so here is two g-shock watch i got i purchased this on december but it takes some time to arrive so that's why i'm unboxing this right now but that's okay uh, as far as i can see january 2021 and i just dropped the knife anyway january 2021 new release casio g-shock watch well they are good but they aren't as interesting so we got some time to spend so i'm probably gonna wait until we'll see things that will be coming out on February and then I'll make some more purchase we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes things usually change pretty fast around here same goes with my G-Shock watch collection people got well <laughs> I mean I, I mean I could already predict all the uh, reactions but just so you know I have other G-Shocks that I didn't showcase in that video because you know I don't want to spend too much time with it but but anyway i'll just add a b-rolls just to show to you guys all of the square g-shock watch that i have on hand right now i didn't wear them i just put them aside just just in case something happened anyway this is the other g-shock watch that i'm gonna unbox this one i believe in use this one is brand new conditions but where's my knife all right let's see what's inside of this box first the brand new one I didn't expect a, <laughs> a good response as well for this video, but hey, I haven't owned this watch yet. Why not? Let's give it a shot, right? This is a Master of GG Shock Frogman watch, the brand new analog version, which I did mention I will be getting. Took me some time because I was waiting for the price to drop. Thanks to you guys actually for making the watch less popular. Does the price drop? That's making me. <laughs> could afford to buy this watch alongside all the all other G-Shock. So here is the wrapper symbol, I believe. GWF-A1000-1A4JF. So the basics black and red version, like I already said, uh, we'll be getting. So it came in this Master of G-Box straight from Japan. So you could expect a JDM version. The watch itself is still the same, JDM or non-JDM except for the packaging and as a collector obviously we're looking for JDM here is the manual book 5623 so everything works so far so good here's the watch boom oh wow you know what wow all right this is brand new actually look at that I only paid around what 58 something bucks well, I'm gonna just gonna guess 60,000 Japanese yen, sorry, not 60,000 60, Japanese yen for this G-Shock watch in particular. Then there's a discount available at the time I'm purchasing this watch using Buy Japan. So that dropped the price a bit further to 56, something like that. So a bit cheaper than the retail price of like 99,000. <laughs> All right, I just saved like 300 bucks from this listed retail price over here so if you want to do the same if you want to be able to afford this or just purchase this at a much cheaper price than those sold out there on boutique retail shop and everything use buy japan for that you're literally getting things from japan jdm version brand new like one of these you could choose other colors and if you want to save a lot more buy one of these in use conditions they are still the same thing the quality is still there the watch is fairly new in the market you will be able to save a lot more probably half the original retail price who anyway that's it use my japan go through the link down in the description box you have to use the link down below or else they won't know that i sent you guys there and that is very important if they did know then i don't know how long this is gonna last you know you want me to unbox a brand new g-shock watch right right on time especially so go to the link down in the description box, sign up, and as a reward, you also earn an extra 1,000 yen discount on your first order as well. So 
go through the link down in the description box, guys. Tournament is resistant, Bluetooth, soft solar, carbon monocoque, G-Shock. So this is my second one. The first one is the GWRB1000, which also came in black and red. This is why I pick up this color and not the other color variants. Though Kelsey just announced the, uh, I believe the British Army edition, right? In gray color, it looks very, very nice. And the thing that I noticed about that watch is that it has the same, well, the band and bezel is different, but the watch itself is still the same. The watch face is somewhat similar to this one, actually, because it has some red accents in it. So I guess I could just customize the strap and the bezel to gray colored, and then probably be able to achieve similar appearance if that is possible later on in the future. So I guess this is a nice option, nice color choice so far. So, wow. All right, the bands looks very similar to those on the previous GWF1000, except it is different material, I believe. Yeah, you could, you could feel it actually. The keeper came in resin, not metal, which is great. It is much more comfortable actually. The buckle is metal. It looked like one of those on the Mod Master. Ooh, nice. Put this aside. With guess Japan sign. Let me open it up. This seal real quick. Where is it? There you go. There you go. There we go. All right. Put this aside. Over there. Gorgeous watch, man. You know, if you're not a fan of this Frogman watch, I could understand it. Didn't have a lot to offer, but again, like I said, if you only pay like half the price, you really have nothing to lose. The quality of a Frogman G-Shock watch is, is just amazing. That's the perks of owning a Diver G-Shock watch. They are made to last, actually. Now, moving on to other watch that is also made to last, <laughs> like every other G-Shock. This is an old watch. I I really have no idea about the background story of this thing. I just bought it up because it came with the box and everything. And I paid only about 70 bucks, something like that, which is also affordable for what for what it has to offer. All that for that. All right, here is the box. Let's open it up in three, two, one. All right, there you go. Now, look at the similarities between this and this. I tend to like an Anna DG and full analog tap G-Shock a lot lately, so there we go. Vintage one, very sleek, small size, Frogman. It is very big though, for comparison to my Mode Master. Look at that. It is very, very big watch. But this is more of a sleeker one. It came in this very unique strap, even buckle like that. One push, triple foldable clasp. Gorgeous. And check this out made out of titanium all right review video will be coming out later if i was able to revive this watch i'm gonna need to change the battery and see how it goes if not then yeah this will be it for this watch this is actually the gs300 so look it up if you want to know details so again thanks to buy japan for sponsoring this video and um for sponsoring this channel actually for i believe almost two years now been a while so gang guys go to link down in the description box sign up create an account shopping using buy japan they've been helping me a lot and in return you know that's the deal i made with them giving you guys a reward of 1000 and discount and right now they have a lot of campaign promotions going on as well so there's a lot of uh more saving that you could get if you purchase right now so again go to link down in the description box sign up and don't forget to stay tuned for the review for both of these G-Shock watches as well.